Here we are asked to determine the maximum number of turning points in the graph of each of the following functions. And we're given f of x, which is clearly a polynomial function written in descending order, and then g of x, which is also a polynomial function, but it's not written in standard form and, and descending order. It turns out that there's a, a very simple way to determine the maximum number of turning points. The graph of a degree n polynomial has at most n minus 1 turning points. And we can sort of understand this from a couple of basic functions. If we think of a linear function, right, uh, if we think of the function y equal or mx plus b, well, that's a line. And it has zero turning points. This is degree one, right? Degree one, zero turning points. And if we think about quadratic functions, well, those are those graph is parabolas, and so the graph might look like this, or it might look like this, opening up or opening down. And each of these has one turning point. Degree two, polynomial, one turning point. And it turns out that that holds generally. It's the maximum number of turning points. For larger degree polynomials, there's no guarantee that there's n minus 1 turning points. That's the maximum number of turning points a, curve, a polynomial curve can have. So here we have the function negative uh, 12x to the sixth plus 17x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 9x plus 5. This is a degree 6 polynomial. And so then the maximum number of turning points is 6 minus 1, 5. Again, it's not guaranteed that that curve, if we were to sketch it, it's not guaranteed that it has 5 turning points. That's the maximum number it can have. Now, if we look at this function that's been called g of x, this one's a little tougher. But now if we do a little work here, if we think through things, we have the 7x. If I were to multiply out that x minus 4 to the fifth power, I'm not going to multiply that whole thing out, but that would give me an x to the fifth term and then some other terms. Similarly, if I were to multiply out this x plus 2 to the third, that's going to give me an x cubed plus other terms. And also for the x plus 6 to the fourth, that would give me an x to the fourth plus some other terms. And I still have a 7 times an x. Now, again, if we were to go through all the multiplication, you know, all the distributive properties, it would be a real mess. It's, it's not, this is not a simple process. But if I were to multiply this all out, I would have a 7x times an x to the fifth times an x to the third times an x to the fourth. And if we recall our rules for exponents, my lead term would be a 7x to the 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4 x to the 12th and then, oh, sorry, 13, I forgot how to add, 7x to the 13th 
plus a whole bunch of other terms. So the degree of this polynomial is 13, and the maximum number of turning points is then 12. 